today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing the dash. So Rani over here, she went and she got a new dash from a scrapyard. And um, um, hopefully we can get the dash working because it's very important to know how much That's gas true. is in your know truck. How fast you're going. And how fast you're going. So um, I'll let you know if it works. Step one, once we get everything, turn on, obviously switch on the battery. Put it in first gear. Right. Take this out. After while that, you have your foot on the brake. While you have the foot on the brake. And then once that's out, put it back in park. Then we can take out everything. Well, and we then can turn off the engine actually, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, yeah. yeah. Of course. Okay, the bus thank will you. be completely off. All right. And then it's we take dangerous. out everything and then we put it back. Because of the fact that you have to turn on the engine. Update. Cluster works. Uh, Gear shifter doesn't. So that's the, we can't even fit it in. Like, <laughs> or it's just not going completely. I love you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! My oh, it's so cold! My angel! Oh no! I'm gonna take that gear We've been doing this for an hour and it just it's not working. So we took a break, but now we're gonna try to finish the job and make sure the bus understands it's in park and it's not driving right now because it thinks it's in like fucking third gear. So let's fix that boy. So this is what's not working. This boy. Yeah. Okay, hi. So we were able to fix up the gear shift indicator. So that's amazing. So this is the bus. And now the battery's off, okay? So it's not gonna turn on. But that's totally normal. And so I put it like this. Now we're gonna be able to move the stick around and you'll be able to tell if it works or not so this little thing right here is a thing that didn't work before and it's simply just a red wire that we have to rehook at the bottom of the car but now when i change it it works see uh that's one step forward also i broomed the whole thing i don't know if you can see it's now very nice and empty and clean and tomorrow, we're ripping up the floor. When it's all said and done, I don't want to just let go. Oh, just let go. Oh, just let go. Hello. Today is April 4th and we are going to try to get the bus weighed today so that we can figure out if um, we need to change our plate or not. If you saw my previous video in French about how to plate your bus in Quebec, uh, you might have noticed that some comments say that our bus is overweight. <laughs> Rah, she's fat! She's fat. <laughs> and that she can't be plaqued from that, so we're trying to figure out by weighing it. So that's what we're gonna do today and we're also gonna give you a little um, preview of what's been happening over the next few weeks because we haven't really had time to film anything but we've been ripping up some stuff. So we'll let you know um, and show you what she looks like. Yay. So yeah, stay tuned, we'll show you some stuff. Yay. Okay, we went to a weighing station and this is what we get. Our bus is under 3000 kilograms. Donc pour tout le monde qui a commenté sur mon vidéo, euh, en fait, euh, l'autobus pèse 2800 kg, ce qui le rend en effet un véhicule de promenade 
Donc, on va pouvoir le garder plaqué comme ça. Il va juste falloir qu'on change euh, le poids sur notre enregistrement. Puis, c'est la seule chose qu'on a besoin de faire. On, a, on va juste venir le faire peser une deuxième fois quand c'est ouvert. Puis, on va changer le numéro. Puis, il n'y aura aucun problème. Alors, euh, oui. Euh, donc, dans le fond, tout ça pour dire qu'un Econoline Ford E350 2005 avec seulement deux roues en arrière, c'est un véhicule de promenade et vous êtes safe. Hey, we've never been on top of our bus. What the fuck? Why have we never done this? I don't know, but it's the best timing. Ah! Really? We're getting a taste! You're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it! I'm too scared. I want to fuck up the bus. That's true, okay. We can't climb the bus. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we'll get a ladder. Okay, now for the explanations of how Ronnie mainly <laughs> ripped out the plywood that was under the linoleum floor that I ripped off uh, over the last two weeks, basically. We also took off the metal as well as the like mousse insulation that was um, in the ceiling. We took off the plywood, so we started from here, took off all the framing, and took off the plywood with um, like a saw. I don't know what yeah, saw exactly. Called. Yeah. But we just measured the depth of the plywood, which is one inch, and then set the saw to one inch, and then we just took off piece by piece. And we're waiting to take off this part because we don't know what to do with the fucking radiator. So this is a radiator that's currently connected to the radiator of the bus mm -hmm. and so there's water running through these pipes and we can't just like rip it off. Yeah. So we need to like cut the water and then lift it because we actually want to keep it, right? Because it, yeah, it's, like it's a useful. heater. It's nice to have under your little feet when you're, when you're cold. So we're going to try to keep it so we need to like lift it up and then put the new flooring and then just put it back down. Yeah. I don't know, we took off the plywood and these were the bolts for where the seats were. So there's like gaping holes in the bus everywhere. Yeah. And some of them got really bad because, you know, the salt on your shoes in Canada gets through the everything. So. Exactly. And although we know that this isn't n nearly as bad as some other buses we've seen, That's true. Um, we're still gonna need to patch them somehow so that it doesn't get worse. Yes. And then we'll start putting stuff in. So we're in the final stages of taking stuff out, which is the best time to get your vehicle weight. Yes! <laughs> so that's why we decided to do that today, because otherwise we would have started putting new stuff in mm -hmm. and it would have uh, been harder to get it like firmly into the promenade yes. territory. Uh, this is the electrical. We had to keep this plate. Ronnie, do you want to explain it? Yeah, okay. So pretty much when I was here alone, like taking off these plates, um, I took off this one, right? But this is connected to this, is connected to this, is connected to our lovely electrical, electrical panel, which is fucked. <laughs> like, there's so much shit. And when I took off all the paneling, it just was like, meh. Like, it just completely fell out, and my dad was like, okay, no. That's dangerous. Lovely. Yeah, so we really, it's unfortunate because we didn't really want to keep these, but we kind of have to because it keeps yeah. everything contained. So this is what the floor of our bus looks like. I know many other buses have like straight up just one like steel plate. We have more like the bottom of an Econoline, line, which is exactly what we have. Yeah. So this is what the cutaway van probably looks like and they just added the over. But this is literally the bottom of a van. Yo, the biggest proof to see that this is actually like an Econoline line everything is this is meant for a passenger seat. No! <laughs> yeah. So like, there's no intent to make this vehicle a bus until Kobe was like, let's do it! <laughs> We're gonna go enjoy the sunset and uh, that'll be it. We'll let you know when the full floor is out and we start choosing when to put in. Yes! Yes! Okay, bye, -bye everybody! Okay. Yes! Eat your grinds. Eat your grinds, kids. Eat your grinds. Oh, they'll grow too tall, taller than you.